Now, there are anti-war protests that are taking place in many cities across Russia. Scores of anti-war petitions have also cropped up online, and the Russian elite are issuing statements against war. At least three parliamentarians have publicly criticized the invasion. Even a few media houses are carrying some anti-war messages on their front pages. So what does all of this tell us about the public sentiment in Russia? Our next report gets you the details. These visuals are from St. Petersburg, the cultural capital of Russia. On Monday evening, this city was gripped by anti-war protests. Russians from all walks of life demonstrated in Ukraine's support and slammed their president for launching an invasion. These people are not alone. In the last one week, similar protests have erupted in Moscow. Novosibirsk, Yekaterinburg and several other Russian cities. They've all been met with a severe crackdown. Over 6,400 people have been arrested. Police vans now stand at every major intersection and riot-ready cops are menacing the sidewalks. Moscow is trying its best to end these protests. But they're only spreading. Scores of anti-war petitions have cropped up online. Some have even received more than a million signatures. The signatories include Russian academics, artists, journalists, economists, even a few oligarchs like billionaire Mikhail Fridman, the founder of Russia's largest private bank and one of the richest men in the country. Last Friday, he issued this statement calling for an end to this war. I am convinced that war can never be the answer. This crisis will cost lives and damage two nations who have been brothers for hundreds of years. I really believe that this madness should stop as fast as possible. Joining Fridman in opposing the war are a host of other influential Russians, like steel magnate Alexei Mordashov, businessman Oleg Deripaska, and Tinkov Bank founder Oleg Tinkov. Then we have parliamentarians. At least three members of Russia's state Duma have criticized their president for invading Ukraine. This includes Mikhail Matyevev, who put out a tweet last week saying he voted for peace, not war. Last we checked, the tweet had been deleted. Risking the wrath of Russian authorities are also certain media organizations, like the publishing group VK Media. On Tuesday, it carried an anti-war message on the front pages of all its editions. In English, the message reads, This madness must be stopped. These rare sounds of dissent from Russian elites and media houses signal the widening fissures among Russian voices. They reveal that public sentiment in Russia is not entirely in favor of this ongoing war, only if public sentiment could drive national policies. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.